Humankind in the 21st century is confronted with various global issues that cannot be solved by one country or region, including global warming, preservation of biological resources, infectious disease outbreaks, earthquakes, and tsunami. These issues have a particularly large effect on developing countries that have a weak economic base, requiring solutions coordinated with developed countries. The Science and Technology Research Partnership for Sustainable Development, known as SATREPS, promotes international joint research conducted by Japan and developing countries. New technologies are being developed in order to find solutions to global issues and build human capacities that benefit both Japan and developing countries. JST, that promotes science and technology, is coordinating work with JICA that is in charge of official development assistance known as ODA. The Republic of the Philippines consists of over 7,000 islands with complicated geographical shapes. The ocean around the Philippines is called the Coral Triangle and is known as a marine area with rich biodiversity. However, the ecosystem has been deteriorating rapidly in recent years, with such problems as coral bleaching in an extensive area. The project, entitled Integrated Coastal Ecosystem Conservation and Adaptive Management Under Local and Global Environmental Impact in the Philippines, is being implemented to address these issues. The Tokyo Institute of Technology is leading international joint research conducted with the Marine Science Institute at the Diliman campus of the University of the Philippines and other research institutes. Professor Kazuo Nataoka, who has been conducting marine ecosystem research for many years, is looking for ecosystem degradation in coastal areas in the Philippines caused by both global climate change and impact on the environment by human activities in order to find effective ways to preserve the environment. Worldwide influence due to global warming includes a rise in sea temperature and repeated abnormal weather patterns. Problems involving stress on a global scale, for example, the rise in sea temperature, are not something that can be solved overnight. On the other hand, coral bleaching occurs during the summer, damaging the coral. The point is how to increase the vitality of the ecosystem so that it can rejuvenate itself. Let's use coral as an example. When coral spawns, the larvae are dispersed into the ocean. The larvae ride on the current to the surrounding area, and each larva attaches itself and grows into new coral reefs. We performed simulation of this process. This is the channel between the islands of Luzon and Mindoro. We found that coral larvae are supplied to a wide range of areas by the unique ocean current created by the complicated geographical shape of Puerto Galera. When the network of coral reefs in the ocean is damaged for some reason, it can regenerate itself by supplying larvae from the coral in the network that remains somewhat healthy. From this perspective, relying on the resilience of the overall network is very important. Designating areas that are vital in forming the network as marine protected areas has received much attention as an effective means to preserve the coastal ecosystem. The other cause of ecosystem degradation is environmental damage caused by various human activities. We approach research on a local scale. This includes loss of topsoil due to deforestation. 
ですよね。That preserve the ecosystem without dramatically changing the way people live. The local people actually live in these areas and interact with the ecosystem to make a living under the harsh conditions. It is important that numeric targets be established based on a clear assessment of the ecosystem. This will provide the people living in these areas with an indicator of what they need to do as the minimum to maintain the ecosystem. Investigation must be performed to obtain a scientific basis for the type of stress the ecosystem is now undergoing and what influence this is having. Young researchers involved in conservation of the coastal ecosystem from Japan and the Philippines must be nurtured in order to continue this project. Multifaceted individuals who can lead the conservation effort based on a comprehensive view of what is essential are needed, rather than people who simply specialize in one field. The foremost issue is how many of these self starting individuals can be nurtured? Who can be called supermen because of their comprehensive abilities?